Hey there everybody, this just arrived today, packaged kind of in a kooky way, but let's get it open and see what's in there. Well, I got it out of one of the bags, jeez, still working on it here, give me a couple more seconds. Alright, there it is, the Blackthorn Shillelagh Fighting Cane. And this one is made by United Cutlery. Gives you a little, little bit of info about it there. Okay, this was all curled up in that wrapper. And this one's in there upside down. This, the big club is down here. So let's get that open now. Okay, there it is out of the package. Let's see here. This is made out of polypropylene. I'm pretty sure it's the same as the cold steel because there are some videos of people like smashing cinder blocks with it and smashing big chunks of ice and stuff like that. This one says United Cutlery on the bottom, which looks pretty cool. They did a good job stamping it. You can see the nubs on this are much, much smoother. And that I actually like that because it's, it's going to be easier on your hand. I don't know if the cold steel one is that way. It says, oh, this is the Night Watchman that Bud K has. It says right there. It's got the little shield. And it says Night Watchman. So it says strong defense. So apparently United Cutlery makes this Blackthorn, Irish Blackthorn shillelagh walking stick and it's called the Night Watchman. And compared to the cold steel versions, you can see the head, it has a duller, like a more dull kind of finish to it. Like it doesn't look like it's so high polished, which is okay because it, I think it might look even a little more wood-like, you know, a little more authentic. But yeah, it's got that big knob for thumping heads. And this you could spin in your hand and like do tricks with and stuff, I think a little easier because those big ass, or those great big thorns aren't in the way. So that's pretty nice. Okay, this one is About 36 and a half. It's just about 37 inches long. Okay, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say. It's feels pretty like good in the hand. This knob makes a nice handle. And uh, this is literally just a self-defense cane. It's got some weight to it. I'd say it's probably, I don't know, if it was on the specs anywhere, but it feels like it's probably a good close to two pounds. But yeah. So back here you got the 59 inch cold steel walking staff. Then you got the United Cutlery Night Watchman walking stick, which is a cane. And then you just have the cold steel 27 inch shillelagh, which is just a weapon or a self-defense club. You can see the big spikes on this, then the scaled down spikes on the staff, and then almost no spikes at all on the United Cutlery one. And I threw some ends on these two since they're for walking. This is a 7 eighths inch like a cane or crutch end. And it looks like that. And it fits perfect on the staff, on the great big staff. But it's a little loose on this. So you need something even smaller, maybe the next size down, like the three quarters would probably be perfect for the cane. I mean, this works. You could put a dot of glue in there if you wanted to. It's just on there a hair looser. And then of course you don't need one for this because this is just a club. 
I noticed I stood up with this and was kind of like using it a little bit like a cane. And I'm sure the cold steel one would be identical. That doesn't give you a lot of grip, or a lot of support, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know if they'd be the world's best canes, you know? They'd literally, it's more like they're masquerading as a cane, but they're more of a self-defense tool. Now the walking staff obviously doesn't have that issue because you ultimately hold it down here. Like you don't hold it up top, it's too tall. You hold it down in here somewhere. So that's just fine. The only issue it has is that it's extremely heavy. And it's like most people don't want their walking stick to weigh a whole lot, you know, and weight them down. It's not too bad, but it's probably like four pounds or so. It's pretty heavy. This one here, this ain't steep enough of a bin. So you, you don't really grip it like that. You kind of have to just put your hand up here on the slick spot. I mean, it works, but there's better cane handles out there. And then this one is of no consequence because that's just a club. But someday I may, if Cold Steel ever gets this one back on the market in their version, because see how this has the little bark look to it, those little dots? And so does this one? This one really doesn't. It's just some kind of texture, but it's just, I don't know, it's not the same. I'd like to see it like this, more like the Cold Steel version. But I hope you enjoyed these videos of these staffs and walking sticks and clubs and what, what have you. This is Joe Doomsday signing out.